Another day, another bundle, bro. Okay, that's not even what this video is about. Maybe for the Phase Boost 420 special, but not this video. What's up, guys? This is Merc Music, and welcome to one of the weirdest guns in Modern Warfare 3. They just dropped a brand new weekly aftermarket part unlock, and it's for the KV broadside, and it's going to change this shotgun into a battle rifle. Yeah, I have no idea how or why they came up with this, but I feel like it could be a really unique gun. So we're going to go ahead and get this unlocked. This is the build we're going to be rocking for the KV broadside, because as I show you guys in a sec, all of the weekly challenges are pretty much geared towards using the brecci. You could use a different shotgun, but as you'll see here, most of these challenges, they could be done with the KV broadside. It'll just make things easier. So, I mean, this is the class and the build we're going with, but you can use whatever you want. Oh, they just dropped the grow house map too. I mean, I feel like small map mosh pit, anything with tiny maps is going to be the best way to unlock this new attachment really quickly. And I also think hardcore could be pretty good for it. So we're just going to queue for emergency and small map. Let's get it. Which by the way, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this and let the brecci grind begin. Oh my God. Well, there's a quad to start the game. Oh, no, I'm out of ammo. Wait, how did I run out of 25 rounds? I could have sworn I put 25 on this thing. Oh, my Lord, what a start. He team killed. Bro, I could have had an advanced UAV for the team. What are you doing? As I'm editing this, I just realized I got a one-shot triple with the Brecci. Oh, my God. That was one way to start a game of DOS House. I'm going to be honest. I did not think I was going to run out of ammo. We have to be, like, running around quick scoping. I swear I put 25 rounds on this thing. 25 shell drum. There's no way this thing has 25 rounds. It's got to be bugged. I did not track any of the challenges because I'm an idiot. But they do have a thing, at least at the menu, where it will show all of your weekly challenges. Holy lord. So basically the way they want you to use the gun is you have to run around and quickscope with it. But also you... Wait. Wait a second. Does it not have my suppressor? I put the SAMX50. Is that not suppressing? I have no idea. It doesn't sound suppressed. The game is jipping me right now. I have no idea if I'm going to get any of this progress. Oh, wait, there we go. We got 20 clean kills already. We have to get the quick scope kills. I don't know if it's going to track the other ones. I'm kind of scared. Like, this is a good match. This is a great lobby. But I have no idea if it's going to track this stuff. That's a long shot. Long shots count too, I think. Ah! There's another long shot. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> I kind of forgot the other challenges. I should have just tracked them all, dude. I'm an idiot. Ugh. I'm very dumb for that one. He heard my feet the last second. Too late for you, buddy. All right, we got the quick scope kills. Nice. Now I have to get the long shots, I'm pretty sure. Teammate. Oh my. Bro! We're killing this already. I mean, it's a brecci, dude. Come on. Realistically, we should get all of this done in one game, but there are some kind of tricky challenges. I didn't go over which ones I'm doing because I'm a genius. As you can tell, I'm very awake right now because I didn't even track them. All right, another long shot. We hit level 505. That means we got something done. Uh, that's a daily challenge. Wrong one. I know there's someone there. Oh, my God. Hey, we got the long shot done. Nice. What the? <laughs> that's not a real person, is it? Where's the real? Uh, and yeah! <laughs> I can't take this one seriously. It, it's the KV broadside. It's the Brecci from Modern Warfare 2. I am really curious to see what this thing is going to turn into and if the gun's going to be any good. Ooh. Man, wait, there was another one there? These enemies make no sense. I hate that it didn't put the 25 rounds on. I'm just gonna say that much. <laughs> I love Snoop's laugh in this game. It's beautiful. Also, I saw that they nerfed the Renetian Warzone, man. That thing was so busted. I got to use it a little bit. So many people were raging in game chat because of it. Pure comedy right there. They nerfed it. The comedy has been nerfed. I mean, I can understand why, though. Honestly, that thing was a complete meta breaker. It was ridiculous. Like, when I was playing that, almost every single player I encountered was using the Renetti, and they would not use anything else. You know you have a problem when the player base only wants to use one gun. But it was fun while it lasted. Ah, I kept shooting. Okay, wait, we got the double kills done too. Nice. I think we only have like one or two challenges left and we're good. Well, I don't know how I did not end up dying here. I don't know what else I have to do. It doesn't matter. It's over. <laughs> All right. I mean, that was a pretty good first game. We were best on the team. Smacked it up with the Brecci. And now I'm really scared about whatever kind of lobbies we're going to get next. But they gave us double XP when the season launched. But it looks like we have it again. That's crazy. That explains why we leveled up so fast. Okay. So we got the 20 clean kills. We got the double kills. We got the quick scope kills. Long shots are done as well. I put a scope and a suppressor on this gun. That's the challenge I'm going to have to do. I mean, you guys see it, right? This is a scope. And this is one of four suppressors that you can use. I mean, maybe I'll have to switch to something different. It's not going to recognize this as a suppressor. 
better. That really sucks too because this suppressor, the SAMX50, is the best out of all of them in terms of having less downsides than the other suppressors. But man, at this point, I just got to use whatever I can. Maybe we'll go with the Schweigen. Is it going to actually work? Yeah, that's a suppressor. Okay. I tracked it. Okay, we're good. I could go for the 30 battle rifle quickscope kills, but I didn't make a class. So if it doesn't want to put the suppressor on the shotgun, then we'll have to figure something out. I'm not seeing it on the gun. This is actually crazy. Why is it refusing to put the suppressor on? Jesus. And the classes are still bugged. That is a suppressor. Put it on my gun, please. This is so evil. Yep, that's not suppressed. Okay, well, we're screwed. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to do the battle rifle challenge instead. That shouldn't be too bad, though, because I think there's a way to possibly cheese it. You've got to be kidding me. They did not recommend the Bass B for this week. Oh, Lord. Well, we can either quick scope with the SOA subverter or the Sidewinder. That's great. Look up my meta build, too. <laughs> they want quick scope kills, so we're not gonna go with this whole, like, meta build kind of thing. We just need a fast sprint to fire now. Gonna go with the Razorhawk. We have a sprint to fire grip. I think we're gonna go with the handstock. Can we quick scope with this thing? We kind of can. It's pretty fast. This is gonna be the dumbest challenge, but we have to do it. Let me go ahead and not track the broken challenge and instead we'll put this one on which now that i think about it i'm really hoping that this aftermarket part will actually unlock and it will work <laughs> welcome back to everyone's favorite made-up game show will the weekly aftermarket part in modern warfare 3 work i swear to god if it doesn't i'm gonna be so mad all right let's get it done time to quick snipe with it i mean i have to quick scope with it did that count oh it did okay sweet quick scoping with a battle rifle it's so dumb dude <laughs> Ooh, double a no! I'm in a lobby of people just throwing decoys everywhere. This map is ruined. Ruined by the decoy me noise. Bro. Oh my. Just spraying the LMGs. He's gotta be doing LMG challenges. Gotta hold down the trigger. Hell of Jesus Christ. I mean, you can just see him spraying it, bro. Oh my God. I don't even know how I got those kills. That's a miracle. I mean, look, they're all just in that corner. That corner is just the worst thing on this map. What a blast this is. Finally killed that one douche that's been holding down that whole lane. These are all quick scopes. Please count. Please. You know, I'm just going to lay here and wait for them. There you go. Quick scope. Idiot. Quick scope. I'm quick scoping. Oh my. I could have had a quad. Oh my god! <laughs> that was so weird. We are on the cusp of getting this. Might be like one or two more, I hope. Oh my god, that was a sick quick scope. That's going on my Taj. No! That should count. Come on. Pop it up. Yes! Okay, we did it. We're done. I'm getting out of here. Wait. Actually, I should probably stay for the battle pass. Let's see if we could just make a class real quick. Although I probably wouldn't use this in hardcore. There's still that weird bug when you're trying to change loadouts in the middle of a game, but yeah. We have the aftermarket part right here. It does work. We have the Jack Jawbreaker. And this shotgun is now going to become a fully automatic battle rifle. Oh my god, here it is. This is the aftermarket part right here. Somehow I was still able to change this. It changed back to my other gun. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh my. That's the gun. Every time I spawn, I'm being given the wrong gun. What's going on? Maybe I'll just cut to when the match is done. All right, that putrid match is done. Let's go ahead and check this thing out for real. All right, Orkin just lag and there's no actual weapon in my hands. I don't know what's going on. My RAM is spiking to 79%. This is scary. Can I, can I have the gun, please? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this game today, man. Come on now. There you go. All right, let's see how it is against the dummies. Oh. Wow. That seems kind of melty, but it's got a little bit of kick. Let's see what we can do about that. I kind of want to make a nasty, like, no recoil build. We're going to go with the Jack BFB. I'm thinking in the Cronin Intlis site because this also gives us some aiming stability and some other benefits too. Oh, you can't change the ammo or the magazine or the laser or the barrel. What? Oh, that's crazy. So we really can't put too many attachments on. So maybe we'll switch some stuff up. We got to figure out what's going to be really good for this thing. The lock grip precision 40 is looking pretty good. Ooh, the demo grip is looking nasty. Okay, this is the current build. Let's see if it's going to be any good. It's very lasery. I like that. It's still difficult to control at long range, though. And you only get 20 shots. I mean, that's not bad. That's pretty good. I'm saving it as the BR build so we can put it on our quick fix vest class. This is my quick bolt Morse class, which I've been using so much. And I'm just going to plug this gun into this class right here. Just go over to shotguns and we'll just put the battle rifle on. Boom. And you know what? I'm down to check out Grow House. I'm pretty sure this is just Sphere from Vanguard. I'm down to try it out. Please vote hard point, not kill confirmed. I swear to God. All right. I guess we're getting kill confirmed. That's great. Okay. Got that one jacked from us. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got quick fix. I'm not going to play a game where a guy's sitting in the back camping with an ACR the whole match. The gun is feeling good so far, man. This is a nice build. 
Did he just rage quit? Like, where did he disappear to? I gotta say, so far I'm digging the Jack Jawbreaker kit. Like, it just feels like we got a completely new gun. Why do you keep saying, oh snap, Snoop? Is this Snoop Dogg or Snap Dogg? You know, for this being a grow house, this is the most unshow lobby I've seen. This new aftermarket part slaps though, man. But yeah, that was grow house. I really wish we would have gotten hard point instead of kill confirmed. Wait, 10v10's back? Dude, I cannot wait to use the moors on there, but that's not what we're gonna be doing right now. But as I'm sure you guys know, the moors has the most insane collab potential and 10v10's gonna have way more lineups. I can't wait for that. But yeah, let's try this thing out on war. We got 10 man. It's not my favorite map, but we'll do it. That seems to be the common theme for this video is that I'm not getting the maps with the game mode combinations that I want, but it's all good. It's still so weird to see the KV broadside on my class, but I have to go into it knowing that I'm not using a shotgun anymore. Not even remotely close to the same gun. Okay, so this seems like it's the second half of the game. I'm definitely joining late into this one. We got a long shot though, which is pretty impressive. Come on. Oh, they're up there now. Oh my god. No, the, the empty reload is so slow. I'm seeing teammates in here doing the shotgun challenges. They want this gun. Oh, okay. Well, that's my cue to leave. <laughs> That was an amazing jump. I'm going back to hardcore. I just want to have some fun with it. But I'll say this much about the gun and core so far. It seems okay, but for having only 20 rounds and a lot of recoil, I really wish this thing hit harder. I'm not sure if it could be switched into semi-auto now that I think about it, though. Maybe that could make it even better. But if it's full auto only and that's all it can do, then I don't know. It's decent. It's something new and fun to check out, but might not be all that great. Oh my god, they're noob tubing now, man. Oh my god. <laughs> How is that a team kill? I'm not trying to team kill you. These matches are atrocious right now, dude. What are these lobbies? Ah, they didn't spawn there, man. You know, even in hardcore, this thing's not that great. Like, it has a good one-shot kill potential, but for feeding and going on big streaks, man, this is not it. You can maybe take down three or four people, maybe five, but then you have to reload, and if it's an empty reload, oh my goodness. Slow. It's a gun from Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I don't know what I expected. It has to be slow, and there has to be at least one thing wrong with it. These matches have been straight fire. All right, real quick, I want to see if you can change the fire mode of this gun, because for some guns, it can make a huge difference. Looks like we're still playing at 2 FPS. Nice. Does the game want to load? So from what I can tell, you can't change the fire mode. We can change the tax stance, but this thing's tax stance is kind of horrible. I do not think I want to be shooting like this, ever. Maybe we have to go to a public match to see if it's possible, but I don't think it is. Never mind. I forgot this one has the charge up. Dude, I've never used the charge up barrel. This thing's weird. Okay, so yeah, we're in a match and we still can't change the fire rate. So this thing's stuck in full auto. So that confirms it. But yeah, that is the brand new Jack Jawbreaker kit for the KV Broadside in Modern Warfare 3. If you want to go ahead and unlock it, you can. I don't know if it's that great. Definitely one of the weirder aftermarket parts we've gotten in the game so far, but as far as it goes for this thing being meta or even really that good, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just a little too early to call it, but it seems like the downsides of this kit kind of outweigh the negative, and if you wanted to just go ahead and use the KV broadside and spray people with a shotgun, you might be better off using it that way versus, you know, using this brand new kit. But at the same time, it looks like some of the attachments are bugged for the KV broadside anyway. Like, it seems like you can't use a 25 rounds drum or even use a silencer, so I don't know. So far this weekly aftermarket part has me more confused than pleasantly surprised but if you guys end up unlocking it and trying it out definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this aftermarket part and with that being said thank you guys very much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see some more new stuff like this and i'll see you guys later